Hey guys, welcome back to Burns's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the order of operations. The best way to view order of operations is through the PEMDAS method. The PEMDAS method includes parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now remember to follow this in the exact same order. So according to PEMDAS, parentheses comes first and then so on. Now keep this in mind that multiplication and division go together and addition and subtraction go together. So whenever you're solving, we have to go from left to right for these these two groups. So for example, if multiplication comes first, we'll do multiplication first from left to right. And in the same way, if we're doing addition and subtraction, if subtraction comes first, we'll do subtraction first from left to right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do an example. So let's say that we have 15 over 3 times 9 plus and then brackets, well these are kind of parentheses, but I'll call these brackets. So we have in brackets 3 minus and then again this time we have parentheses but these are just kind of like the round type so we have two different um, pairs of parentheses so we have minus and in parentheses we have a negative 2 and then close these parentheses and then we close the brackets and then we have minus 8 so we see that we have two pairs of parentheses that's why I'm calling this rectangular ones brackets and then these the round ones parentheses so according to our PEMDAS method, we see that we have to do parentheses first. So if we go down here, we have two pairs. So which one should we do first? Well, if you see, in brackets we have 3 minus, and in parentheses, or the round parentheses, we have minus 2. We have to do the minus 2 first because we have to distribute this minus sign over here, our negative sign, to the negative 2. So when I say distribute, we're going to multiply the negative sign by a negative 2. So a negative sign, it could also be viewed as a negative 1. So let's say that we just kind of put a small 1 here to help us multiply. So we have a negative 1 times a negative 2. Remember to first bring down everything else just as it is. So we have 15 divided by 3 times 9 plus and then in brackets we have 3 now here we have to do the multiplication so a negative times a negative gives us a positive so our answer is going to be positive and then 1 times 2 is 2 so as you can see the number didn't change it still stayed 2 except the sign turned from a, the negative sign into a positive sign and then we close and now we're done with since we've already done the distribution we don't need these parentheses anymore so we'll just keep the brackets and then we have minus 8 so we've shortened or we have simplified our expression. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to do this pair of parentheses. So we have 3 plus 2. So remember to keep everything else as it is and then just do the um, step that you're doing. So 15 divided by 3 times 9 plus and then 3 plus 2, which is 5, minus 8. All right, so now we have multiplication, addition, and subtraction left. So according to PEMDAS, the next thing that we have to do is multiply or divide from left to right. So we see that 15 is being divided by 3. So we have to do division first because it comes first from left to right. So 15 divided by 3, we all know, is going to be 5. And then bring everything else down. So times 9 plus 5 minus 8. So next we have to do multiplication. So 5 times 9 is going to give us 45 plus 5 minus 8. Next we have addition and subtraction. So we see that addition comes first from left to right. So we're going to add. So we have to add 45 plus 5 which gives us 50 minus 8. And we all know that 50 minus 8 is 42. And so our answer is 42. Now remember that 42, this is the same thing as positive 42, but we don't necessarily need to add the positive sign because remember, if a number doesn't have a sign in front of it, it always means that it's a positive number. So this is the final answer to our entire expression. All right, so this is how you solve uh, an equation with, with using the PEMDAS method or the order of operations. So let's go ahead and do another example. This time, let's say that we have negative 27 minus 3 and in parentheses we have negative 4 and then close the parentheses and then we have squared and then we have plus 11 or positive 11 
All right, so this time we have exponents. But always remember that according to PEMDAS method, parentheses comes first. So we see that in parentheses we have negative 4. So there isn't really any other operation being applied to the negative 4. So we have to go ahead and go to the next step, which is the exponent. So the exponent is the 2. So that means negative 4 is being squared. So negative 4 being squared is the same thing as, if we bring everything down, so negative 27 minus 3. And then negative 4 being squared is the same thing as negative 4 times negative 4, and then plus 11. So we know that a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So we're going to have positive, and then 4 times 4 is 16. So we get a positive 16 plus 11. Okay, the next thing that we have to do now is we have to distribute this negative 3 to the positive 16. So if it's a negative and a positive, so we have negative times a positive, we know that will always give us a negative. So we have negative 27, and then negative 3 times positive 16 is going to give us a negative 48 plus 11. All right, the next step is now we have subtraction. So we have negative 27 minus 48. So we, we didn't really have any multiplication or division in this one, so we're going to have to skip down to addition or subtraction. So we have subtraction first, so we're going to subtract negative 27 with negative 48. Remember, if the signs are the same, so we have both of them as a negative sign, we're going to keep that sign in our answer, but we're going to add the numbers. So 27 plus 48 we get 75. So we have negative 75, and then we have plus 11. All right, now we have different signs. So we're going to take the sign of the bigger number, which is 75. So our answer is going to be negative, and then 75 plus 11. And since the, the signs are different, we're going to have to subtract. So 75 minus 11 is going to give us 64. So our answer is going to be negative 64. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you, I hope you guys learned how to solve using the PEMDAS method. And once again, this is just order of operations, except the PEMDAS method is just an easier way of you doing order of operations. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.